If you're looking for cheap and reliable coins, check the link in the description for FIFA coins. And they're selling for £2 per 100k on the Xbox and about £2 per 100k on the PlayStation. Use the code JOSH5 to get 5% off. What's up, Ledge Joshua, and welcome back to another episode of Your Favourite Players. And today's video is going to be covering five more players that you guys have suggested in the comments from last video. And this one is going to be a pretty awesome episode as well. We're going to be talking about a lot of decent players and a lot of OP players. So let's get straight into the episode of Your Favourite Players, Episode 3. Moving on to the first player guys, we're going to be talking about your favourite player and this, the one that I've suggested, or the one that you guys have suggested should I say, uh, from the comments is going to be this guy who has commented, I'm, I would love to see your name but I think that's some type of Saudi Arabian language and of course I don't speak Saudi Arabian so um, yeah thanks for the comment mate but uh, I'm, I'm kind of struggling to say that name so um, he basically said Ibrahimovic from FIFA 12 he was so cheap and powerful and I completely agree this guy was an absolute monster he was the best Ibrahimovic on all FIFAs in my personal opinion he was the best to use he cost like just under 40k I, I vaguely remember him always being about 36 to 38 thousand coins and this guy was you know absolutely awesome on um, on this game. He had 79 pace, 89 shot, 78 passing, 87 dribbling and 82 heading. This guy was absolutely phenomenal and of course he I loved using 5 star skillers on FIFA 12 and 13 and even FIFA 11 as well. Um, that was when I first started getting into Ultimate Team and it was just the funnest years of FIFA and um, yeah he was definitely one of my favourite Ibrahimovic to use and that was on FIFA 12 so let's move on to the next player. And moving on to the next suggestion, guys, your favourite player is going to be S Wine, commented by Mike M, and he said S Wine in FIFA 13, this guy was so overpowered, and once again, I have to agree, this guy was the ultimate sweat machine on FIFA 13, 90 pace, 70 shooting, 75 dribbling, and 73 heading, all on a 75 rated striker card, which literally came out of nowhere, and then obviously the, the, the past FIFAs that were after this one, he literally turned from, I think, straight into a silver and onto one of the wings, it was either left, I think it was a left wing, and and uh, he just doesn't really get used much anymore because, of course, when he was at striker, it was much easier to get him in teams. And it was, you know, obviously he was incredibly OP on FIFA 13. And uh, he also was just... I mean, he was ridiculously easy to link with people in the Bundesliga, and everybody used him in their Bundesliga squads with, like, um, him, Aubameyang, etc., etc., Royce. There was just so many incredible links to have with him, and he was rev definitely, <laughs> he was definitely OP. So, um, yeah, he was one of your favourite players. And moving on to the next suggestion, guys, we're taking a comment from the last video, and this guy's name is IXO Games, and he said Wigan Kone, uh, well, basically Kone from Wigan on FIFA 13, and he was absolutely phenomenal. I think he was actually a non-rare as well. If I'm not mistaken, I think he was a non-rare, but like I said before on the last episode, Foothead don't actually seem to have any non-rare cards from past FIFAs, so unfortunately we, ha we are having to showcase him as a rare, but I'm pretty sure he was a non-rare, and he was ridiculously good. 78 rated striker for Wigan. He had 87 pace, 73 shooting, 58 passing, 78 dribbling, and 76 heading, 4 star skimmers, and 4 star weak foot. This guy was in absolutely every single Barclays Premier League team. Him, um, I think Remy, Remy was one of the striker partnerships that I used to use, and uh, some of those as well, but Kony was ridiculously good, and that 4 star skimmers was, you know, a very versatile thing to use with uh, such a sweaty player, so yeah, he was definitely one of your favourite players. And moving on to the next suggestion, guys, we've got a comment from Bas van Kroening. I think that's how you pronounce it, or it's a very strange, looks like a Dutch name, so pretty cool name if that is actually your name. Um, but I'm sorry if I've butchered that. But anyway, he said, uh, Aubameyang from FIFA 14, the sweat was over 9,000, scored me so many goals. Loving that little Dragon Ball Z reference there. Um, but yeah, I have to agree, absolutely fantastic striker on FIFA 14. He was probably one of my most used players because uh, FIFA 14 was like literally all about sweat. Everybody um, was, was, was there to to win the game and it's like that on FIFA 15 as well nowadays unfortunately it's not about the fun anymore it's all about scoring as many goals um, you know it doesn't matter how you score them either it just it can be tramp goals header goals you know running from the halfway line and scoring goals it's just you know any goals counts and uh, it's not about the, the, the sort of gameplay anymore it's about how many goals you can score um, but Obama Young used to score me pl you know, bloody plenty of them and I can imagine he scored a lot of them for you guys because this guy's stats were absolutely ridiculous and then actually after this FIFA I'm pretty sure in FIFA 15 I'm pretty sure he's a right winger now so um, not as many people can abuse him while he was at that striker role but if you still use him in like a 4-3-2-1 on the right wing um, and he's just in you know he's still insanely good but um, just not as good as he was as a striker on FIFA 14 but 80 rated striker, 95 pace, 76 shots, 73 passing, 78 dribbling and 76 heading, a really awesome card, and uh, apparently he was one of your favourites as well as one of mine. 
And moving on to the final suggestion of this episode, guys, we're going to be talking about Fabrizio Mikkeli from FIFA 13, and the gaming guy 28 commented, Mikkeli from FIFA 13. Keeping it short and simple, thank you for the comment. And a lot of people actually got behind this. Five thumbs up, obviously you guys were agreeing with him. Mikkeli, uh, uh, obviously one of, was one of your favourite players, and... Um, in FIFA 12, he was absolutely amazing, and in FIFA 13, look at these stats. They were absolutely ridiculous for an 82-rated striker. 82-rated striker, 85 pace, 85 shooting, 86 dribbling, and 80 passing. And somehow, EA spelled this out as an 82-rated striker overall. It just didn't make sense to me whatsoever, and this guy in-game was absolutely ridiculous. Very, sl uh, very, very quick, um, very agile, very small as well, so, you know, he was, you know, incredibly agile, incredibly... Um, skillful as well because he had four star skill moves and he was just one of one of very many good players on FIFA 13 but um, in the Serie A team you would see this guy mainly a lot and he was very very cheap he was like 2k coins at max and everybody used this guy when they had a Serie A team if they were trying to win the game you would just see Mikkeli and probably Balotelli or Mikkeli and um, that, uh, that Diego Mili 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 oh, I can't remember his name, plays for Inter Milan, he's an um, Argentinian striker, I'm pretty sure you guys will know who I'm talking about, but yeah, Mikkeli was absolutely fantastic, but after this game he literally went missing, he d I didn't see him in another FIFA since FIFA 13 or FIFA 12, and I don't know where the hell he went, so if you know where he went, let me know in the comments, but yeah, apart from that, Mikkeli was one of your favourite players. Thank you guys for watching yet another episode of FIFA 11 to FIFA 15, your favourite players. Comment down below any of your favourite players and I will cover them in the next episode. And uh, yeah, apart from that, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave a like rating, subscribe to my channel if you're new there, follow me on Twitter, actually come right for. And apart from that guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.